It's me, Mari, and today you'll learn how to play Pandemic. Set up. Put the six research stations and disease cubes next to the board. Place the outbreak markers on the zero space of the outbreak's track. Place the four cure markers, via side up, near the discovered cure indicators. Place the infection rate marker on the leftmost space of the infection rate track. Shuffle the infection cards and flip over three of them. Put three disease cubes of the matching color on each of these CDs. Repeat the process with three more cards and put two disease cubes on each of them. Do it one more time, but this time put one disease cube on each of the CDs. Place these nine cards face up on the infection discard pile. The other cards form the infection deck. Give each player a reference card. Shuffle the roll cards and deal one for each player. Place the matching colored pawns for these rolls in Atlanta, home of CDC, along with one research station. Remove from the game the remaining roll cards and pawns. Set aside the epidemic cards. Shuffle the remaining player cards and deal cards to the players to form their initial hands according to the number of players. Prepare the player deck by creating a number of piles of cards according to the desired difficulty of the game. Make 4 piles for an introductory game, 5 for a standard game, or 6 epidemic cards for a challenging game. Once difficulty is decided, shuffle one epidemic card to each pile. Stack them to form the player deck, and remove any unused epidemic cards from the game. Look at your hand. The player with the highest city population goes first. And now you're ready to learn how to play. Pandemic is played in turns, where each player can make actions and then play proceeds clockwise. A turn consists of three phases. Do actions, draw cards, and infect cities. A player can do four actions from the list. It can be a combination of multiple of the same, as long as you have cards to do so. Movement actions include Driver Ferry allows the player to move their pawn to a city connected by a line from their current location. Direct Fly allows the player to fly to a city by discarding the corresponding card. Charter Flight allows the player to fly anywhere in the world by discarding the card matching their current city. Shuttle Flight allows the player to fly between cities with a research station without discarding a card. Apart from movement, players can do other actions like Build a research station by discarding a card that matches their current location and placing a research station in the city. There is a max of 6 research stations in the board and if the limit is exceeded, take from another location in the board to build. Treat a disease by removing a disease cube from the city you are in. If this disease color has been cured, remove all cubes of that color from the city you are in. If the last cube of a cured disease is removed from the board, this disease is eradicated. Flip its cure marker from its vial side to its empty side. No more cubes of this color can be placed on the board. Share knowledge can be done when two players are in the same location and need to agree to do this. The player can either give a city card that matches the current city or take a city card from another player. If you have more than 7 cards, discard the card from your hand or play an event card. Event cards doesn't count as an action and can be played by any player at any time. Discover a cure can be done at any research station by discarding 5 CD cards of the same color to cure the disease of that color. Once this action is done, move the disease cure marker to the cure indicator. Discovering cure is the main goal of the game, and once the players cure all 4 diseases, they win the game. After the action step, the player draws 2 cards from the player deck. Beware! If there are fewer than 2 cards left in the player deck, the game ends and players lose the game. As player draw cards, an epidemic card can show up. When that happens, increase the infection rate track by 1. Draw the bottom card from the infection deck and put 3 diseases cubes of the color to infect that city, then discard this card. Ignore placing the cubes if the disease color has been eradicated. If the city is already infected, add cubes until it has 3 cubes of that color. This will cause an outbreak, which we'll cover in a bit. After resolving the epidemic card, intensify the epidemic by reshuffling just the cards in the infection discard pile and placing them on top of the infection deck. After the draw phase comes the infection phase. Flip as many infection cards as the infection rate. Place one cube of that color onto the CD for each disease not eradicated. Then discard these cards. 
At any moment when a city is infected and already has 3 cubes, an outbreak occurs. Move the outbreak marker one space. Place one cube of the disease color on all cities connected to that city. If the other city already has 3 cubes, a chain reaction happens with multiple outbreaks in these locations. After resolving factions, play proceeds clockwise. During the game, players can play event cards, use actions of their role, travel the world and cure diseases. You lose the game if an outbreak marker reaches the last space on the outbreak track, or if you cannot place a disease cube because the supply is empty, or if a player can't draw two player cards on the draw phase because the deck is empty. You win the game if you find a cure for all four diseases. You don't need to eradicate them. If you like Pandemic, check these other tutorials on the right. Thanks for watching and see you next time!